first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number two on the topic probability we are going to solve some of the question that is based on the concept called coins and if you are preparing for any placement training it sector interviews or a government uh, inter government uh, exams definitely the concept that is based on coins and the next lesson the concept that is based on dice and also the lesson number three the concept that is based on cards are most important for all the competitive exams and if you are preparing for bank exams sba po or ibbs po any bank sector interviews according to me this concept is not important if you are preparing only for it sectors other than bank exam this concept is important and if you are preparing only for the bank exam so my advice is to learn the concept that is based on balls in lesson number five lesson number six and lesson number seven so these are the three lessons are most important for the students those who are preparing for the bank exams and other than bank exam those who are preparing these lessons are most important cards next lesson is dice and uh, lesson number three that is based on cards so and another important thing every time solving a probability question remember the formula what is the formula for probability probability is equal to sum of observation divided by possibility right so friends now in this lesson we are going to solve some of the question and all the question that is based on the concept called coins and the concept that is based on coins is very very simple everyone knows this because when when you toss a single coin for example i am saying if you are tossing a coin single coin right so what are all the two chances that we get either it can be head or otherwise it can be tail so if one coin is tossed we have only two chance that is two possible either it can be head or otherwise it can be tail so we can say that if one coin coin is tossed the total possibility is 2 got it and if two coins are tossed if two coins should be tossed simultaneously if we toss two coins simultaneously what are all the possible either both can be it one chance or otherwise both can be tail another chance or otherwise a right hand can be it left can be tail or the way left can be it right can be tail so totally we have only four possibility if we toss two coins got it similarly if we toss three coins simultaneously so these are the total possibility that is total possibility will be eight and if you toss four coins simultaneously what are the total possible total possible will be 16 and if you are preparing for any cat level exams or game level try to prepare till five coins are tossed and if we are preparing for any other easiest government sector interviews or it sector interviews it is more than enough to study up to four coins are tossed so remember that you don't want to buy out all those stuffs once you practice 10 to 15 question then automatically you will buy at this right this is not needed every time solving a question you should not write this so practice more and more number of questions right and uh, remember that the formula for probability is equal to sum of observation divided by possibility and if one coins are tossed we can easily say the possibility will be two if two coins are tossed we can say that the possibility will be four if if the question that is based on three coins toss then we can directly say that the possibility is eight if four coins are tossed we can directly say that the possibility will be 16 for example if five coins are tossed what is the total possibility you should not write all those stuffs, right listen carefully uh, i can uh, say one example if a coin is tossed we know that there are only two possible either it can be it or otherwise it can be tail so only two chance that is two possible if a coin is tossed and listen here the power right the power denotes how many num number of coins that we are tossing for example if we are tossing only one coin then the total possibility will be two power one what is two power one will be two got it if we are tossing two coins then you should write this as two power two two power two what is two power two two square which is four four possible if we are tossing three coins then you should write as two power three two power three will be eight if we are tossing four coins then it can be written as two power four 16 if we are tossing five coins what is the total possibility it is two power five which is 32 so got it if you are tossing six coins two power six so remember that this two is always common why because there are only two possible for the coins either it can be tail or it can be eight but the power changes based upon the number of coins that we are tossing right so if you want i can write this this is one coin toss two power one two coin toss two power two three coin toss two power three so here four coin toss two power four so it goes on until two power n so now we can solve a 10 to 15 question based on this concept so once you watch all the 15 question i can guarantee say that you will definitely understand the concept 
So let me move on to all the questions that is based upon the coins. Question number one. In a simultaneous toss of two coins, then find the probability of two tens. So listen here, if two coins are tossed simultaneously, the question says two coins are tossed simultaneously, what is the probability for getting both our tails? Just now we have learned if two coins are tossed, then the total possibility will be 4. And we know the formula for probability, sum of observation divided by possibility. And now the question is based on two coins tossed. So two coin total possibility will be 4. So first of all, write the denominator as 4. Next, and our target to find the probability of getting two tails. So, if two coins are tossed simultaneously, two tail, we have only one chance. So, we can say that sum of observation, we have only one. Getting of two coins, that is tail, will be only one chance, right? So, one. So, finally, we can say that answer for this question is one by four. Beginners, uh, you don't want to write this and all sum of observation divided by possibility pra while practicing write this after practicing five to six question you want to write this formula right by directly seeing a question we can say the total possibility denominator four and the numerator two tail that is one so we can say that answer for this question is one by four question number two in a simultaneous toss of two coins then find the probability of exactly one tail so the question that is based on two coins if it is based on two coins then the total possibility will be four so first of all write the denominator total possibility that is four and the question that is based on probability of exactly one tail which means our target to find the numerator observation that is exactly it should be only one tail here we don't have any tail so eliminate this second possible tail and head exactly we have only one tail and the third chance yeah here also we have exactly one tail but in the last possible we have two tails but the question that is based on exactly one tail so we can say that there are two observation found which has exactly one tail so the numerator is two so two divided by four you can cancel this and say one divided by two so finally answer for question number two is one divided by two question number three in a simultaneous toss of two coins then find the probability of no tail so listen here two coins are tossed simultaneously and the total possibility will be four so we can say the denominator is four and the numerator sum of observation our target to find the probability of no tail which means in the observation there should not be any tail right here we have two tails eliminate this one tail eliminate this and tail eliminate this so finally this is the only possible that we have no tail so we can say that sum of observation is only one so only one chance we can say where there is no tail and all the remaining chance we can see at least one tail so we can say that sum of observation numerator is one and the denominator is four so answer for question number three is one by four question number four three coins are tossed find the probability of getting all our heads so listen here question number four is based on three coins toss and we already know that if three coins are tossed then the total possibility will be eight so we can say that the denominator is eight and numerator is sum of observation so the observation should be our target to find the probability that is for all our heads that means if we are tossing three coins all the three coins should show it right so i think only one possible all the three coins shows it as head head and head only one chance right all the remaining possible we can see at least one tail so we can say that we have only one observation where all the three coins are it so we can say that sum of observation numerator that is one and the denominator total possible that is eight so answer for question number four is one by eight question number five so so three coins are tossed find the probability of exactly two heads so similarly three coins are tossed the total possibility will be eight and the sum of observation is exactly two heads so out of these three coins our target to see how many coins that shows exactly two head listen here uh, in this first chance we are getting three heads so we can eliminate this and the second chance head and head and tail so we can say that exactly it has two head similarly third chance exactly two head we are getting and the fourth chance exactly two head and here we don't have any heads and only one head 
so only one head and only one head so finally we can say that out of eight possible we are getting only three possible that has exactly two head listen carefully it should have exactly two head so in this possible we have exactly two head similarly exactly two head and exactly two head so we can say that only three sum of so of sum of observation that is numerator will be three and the denominator will be eight so finally we found only three chance that we are getting exactly two heads so answer for question number five is three divided by eight question number six three coins are tossed find the probability of at least two eight so similarly three coins are tossed so we can say that the total possibility will be eight and the sum of observation is our target to find at least two eight what is the meaning of at least two so at least two eight which means minimum it can have a two head or otherwise maximum it can have a three got it so at least a two which means minimum it can have two head or otherwise it can have a three head right so at least a two head there should be at least two head should be there in the possible so listen here in the first condition we have at least a two head one similarly second condition at least a two head at least two head at least two head but here it won't have any head right so we can eliminate this it should have at least two head but in this condition we have only one head we can eliminate this eliminate this eliminate this so finally out of eight possible we can say that only four possible we have at least two head that is minimum two head so we can say that the sum of observation will be four and the denominator will be eight so once you cancel this answer for question number six is one by two so the meaning of at least is minimum to maximum our target to find at least two head it can be minimum two head or maximum three head so only we have picked all the three right question number seven so three coins are tossed find the probability of no heads we can say that if three coins are tossed the total possibility will be eight and the numerator our target to find sum of observation and here no heads so i think only one chance that so out of eight we have only one chance that all the three are tail because our target to find the probability of no heads which means they should not be any head i think only one chance we have that is without any head so we can say that one divided by eight why because all the remaining possible you can see at least one head but our target to find no head which means out of these three coins they should not be any head so we can say that only one possible tail 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 so which is one divided by eight question number eight so three coins are tossed find the probability of at least one head and one tail three coins are tossed so we can say that the total possibility will be eight and listen here at least one head which means minimum one should be eight and similarly one should be tail in the condition at least that means minimum one one head and one tail should be there so in this condition we have minimum one tail and one head at least one head and one tail so we can take this condition right second possible here also we have at least one head and one tail second possible right third at least one head and one tail okay we can take this but in this case we have head but we don't have at least one tail here so we can say that this condition is eliminated got it our target to check out of all the three coins it should have at least one tail and one head in this condition we have head but we don't have any tails so we can eliminate this similarly in this condition we have tail but not even one head so we can eliminate this one tail minimum one head and a tail we can take this and similarly we can take this condition and we can take this condition so finally out of eight two possible is eliminated so remaining six so number of observation is six divided by eight which means three divided by four so answer for this question number eight is three divided by four so in every chance our target to check at least it should minimum it should have one head and one tail so all these six condition we have minimum one head and minimum one tail but in this condition we have have it but we don't have any tail similarly in this condition we have all our tail but we don't have at least one net so we have eliminated both the possible so remaining possible is six that is sum of observation the total possible that is eight so six by eight which is three by four question number nine four coins are tossed once find the probability of exactly three tails and listen here if four coins are tossed what is the total possible two power four which is 16 so we can say the total possibility will be 16 and now the numerator is sum of observation so our target to find exactly three tails exactly there should be three tail right so here exactly only two tails so we can eliminate this eliminate this condition eliminate this condition no every condition is eliminated why because our target to find exactly there should be three tail right again we can eliminate this but in this case 
we have four tails but our target to find exactly only three tails so we can eliminate this in this condition we can say we have exactly three tails so one possible again we have three tails here second possible third fourth here we have exactly two tails eliminate this eliminate this and eliminate this so finally out of total 16 possible we have only four possible which has exactly two tails right sorry three tails exactly three tails so we can say that sum of observation is four and the possibility will be 16 so once you cancel this answer for this question is one by four got it so our target to find exactly three tails so only four possible we have exactly three tails so we can say the numerator is four denominator total possibility which is 16 last tenth question so four coins are tossed once find the probability of at least one tail so again the question that is based on at least one tail so friends listen here you should uh, know what is the meaning of at least because these were at least at most majority or most important in the topic probability what is the meaning of at least at least is minimum to maximum got it so minimum to maximum so our target to see at least one tail which means one can be tail minimum one tail or otherwise two can be tail or otherwise three can be tail or maximum four can be tail why because four coins are tossed got it so remember that this is most important the meaning of at least is minimum to maximum minimum one can be tail or two can be tail three tail four tail right why we are stopping at four because four coins are tossed so maximum four can be tail so we know that the total possibility will be 16 because four coins are tossed. So minimum one can be tail. In this case, we have at least one tail. Yeah, minimum one tail, one tail, one, one. And similarly, two can be tail. Similarly, two can be tail, two can be tail. So here also two tail. Take both the conditions. Here also two tail. Three can be also tail, right? Two can be tail or three can be tail or four can be tail. So we can take this condition three tail, three tail, three tail and four tail. Why we are not taking this condition alone? Because it has not at all minimum one tail in this condition. So we are eliminating this totally out of 16, 15 possible we have at least one tail, minimum one tail. So we can say that sum of observation is 15 divided by total possibility that is 16. So friends, finally in this lesson we have solved all 10 different questions that is based on the concept called coins so take your books and practice more and more number of questions that is based upon the concept called coins so don't forget to watch my next lesson that is based on dice and third lesson that is based on cards so thank you so much for watching this video and if you really like it share this video to your friends those who are preparing for competitive exams thank you so much bye